Okay, so today we're going to have two parts. Uh, we're going to have one part where we're talking about our IXL and what we're doing for that. And then we have this part here that we're going to do first where we're going to make our fraction strips. Okay, so you should have your paper clip full of your fraction strips. So we're just going to take the paper clip off, set it to the side, but don't lose it because you'll need it to keep your strips together. You're going to need two strips that have four pieces. One, two, three, four. And then we're also going to need two pieces that have three pieces. One, two, three. So get those four out. You can take the rest of your fraction strips and just paper clip them back together for now, just to keep them safe. Set them to the side so we don't lose them. Once you have those four strips out, we're just gonna go ahead and start with this one that's broken into four pieces. And what we're focusing on with making these fraction strips is making equal parts. So we're going to take this one and we actually need to make a fraction strip that represent halves. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this fraction strip and you are going to fold it in half. When you're folding it, make sure that the edges of the paper line up exactly and fold it. Then I want you to open it back up so that the lines are down, okay? Because we actually want to make this one represent halves. So right now you can see where my fold is. I'm just going to draw a line right on that fold. So this represents halves. This is one half and this is one half, okay? Halves mean that our strip is divided into two pieces, one, two. And with each half, the pieces are the same size, okay? We've made them equal. Now what we're going to do is we're going to label our fraction strip. So this is one piece out of two pieces. And that is how I would write one half. This piece on the left here represents one piece out of the two pieces that make our whole strip. I'm going to also label the other piece that also represents one piece out of the two pieces. So now you should have your fraction strip that's labeled with halves. I'm going to have you flip it over and on the back you're just going to label this half. So that you don't forget. We're also going to write halves. Okay, half is if we have one piece. So we would say one half. And halves is if you're talking about multiple pieces. So right now our fraction strip is divided into halves because there's more than one of them. Okay, we'll continue to go over that later. But let's just get it labeled so that we have it so we don't forget. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and set that halves fraction strip to the side. And we are going to get out the other fraction strip that is broken into four pieces. You can see that this one is broken equally into four pieces already. Now we can show fourths by folding this fraction strip in half. Okay, that would be making it in half. If we fold it in half again, We had two pieces, we folded it in half again. So that's just like doing two times two, which equals four. And if we open it back up, you can see that our folds are right on those lines. And we have folded it into four equal pieces, which means all four pieces are the same size. So what we're going to do now is we're going to label the pieces. This would be one piece out of four pieces altogether because there are four equal pieces. This is just one of them. So each of these is going to be labeled as one out of four pieces or one fourth. One fourth and one fourth. Okay. And what's really important to notice is that each of these pieces is equal or the same size. Once you've labeled all of your pieces as one fourth, we're going to flip it over and you're just going to write fourth. So that we don't forget. And if you're talking about multiple pieces, it would just be fourths with an S at the end. Okay, it's not like halves where it's spelled differently. So these pieces are divided into fourths. Okay, so now we're gonna take that fourths piece and set that to the side. You're going to take out one of your pieces that is broken into three. And this one you can try to fold if you would like, or you can just watch me fold. Folding into thirds is a little bit differently. Okay, that's what we're going to call this one as thirds, because it's broken into three pieces. All three pieces being equal or the same size. So to fold into thirds, I kind of have to fold both pieces in so that they're the same size. This one already has lines, so it's a little bit easier. The first piece I can fold right to that line, and then I'm just going to crease it over here. And then this piece I'm gonna fold all the way to the end and crease it. So right now I've broken this or folded this into three pieces. When I open it back up, you can see my folds are right on those lines. And there are one, two, three equal pieces. All three pieces are the same size. We're gonna go ahead and label those pieces. This is one piece out of three pieces altogether. So that would be one third. And then I can label my next piece, one piece out of three pieces altogether, or one third. 
And the last one, one out of three pieces or one third. So each piece represents one third. And then when you're done labeling that, we're just gonna flip it over and we're gonna label this as third. Each piece is one third. If you have multiple pieces, it's thirds where we just put an S on the end. So our fraction strip is broken into thirds. Once you have that written, you can go ahead and set it to the side and get out your last fraction strip. This one is also broken into three pieces. Now we're going to make sixths. So we're going to break this one into six pieces. It's already broken into three pieces. So the first thing that we need to do is fold it into thirds. So fold this first piece over all the way to the line. And then you're going to crease it. Take the other side and fold that all the way over to the edge and crease it. So right now our fraction strip is broken into thirds. We need it to be sixth. Well, three times two equals six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our three pieces and break it into in half. Okay, so we're folding it in half and creasing it. Okay, so we had it broken into thirds and then we folded the thirds piece in half. So what we did is we had three pieces, we broke it in half, which we know is two pieces, and three times two is six. So now it should be in six pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to draw a line on those folds that don't already have a line. And you'll notice that I have six equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces that are the same size. Now I just need to label those six pieces. So this is one piece out of six pieces all together. So we would say that that is one sixth. This is also one piece out of six pieces all together, or one sixth. We're gonna go ahead and label all of the pieces as one sixth. So this is six equal pieces. Each of them represents one sixth or one out of six pieces. Once you have that labeled, we're gonna flip it over and we're just going to label this as sixth. Same thing as our other two fraction strips. If it's just one piece, it's one sixth. If it's multiple pieces, it's sixths with an S at the end. So this fraction strip is broken into sixth. So all together right now, we have fraction strips broken into sixth, fraction strip broken into thirds, a fraction strip broken into fourths, 
and a fraction strip broken into halves. Yours shouldn't show through the back because you're using pencil, not marker, but I wanted to make mine a little bit easier to see for the video. Those are the only four we're going to do today. So what I want you to do is make sure that you have all four of those and you're gonna take them and you're gonna put them with your blank ones that we haven't done yet and keep those all paper clipped together so that they are safe. Okay, and you're gonna wanna put those in your backpack into a small zipper or if you have a pencil pouch put it into your pencil pouch somewhere where it's not going to get bent somewhere where it's not going to be ruined and somewhere where it's going to be easy for you to grab out because we will continue to use these through the rest of our fractions unit 